Hey guys, this lesson is my interpretation of Keith Richards' interpretation of a Robert Johnson 3220 A Blues style boogie. And I think it's great to always have a few of these in your locker. Um, short pieces that are fun to play and really help build technique. And one technique that's used in this song that's great is using different chord voicings. So it's a blues in the key of A, and our first chord is an A7. But if you take this D7 chord shape, slide it up to the ninth fret, just the top three strings, with the A in the bass. This is also an A7. So we have this A7, and this A7. And if we take this A7, and just play the bottom four strings, and slide this up to the ninth fret. We have an E7, down two frets. We have a D7. So with those three chords, the A7, the E7, and the D7, we have our blues. And this technique doesn't just work for blues music, it works for all types of music. Um, using different chord voicings is really going to open up the fretboard for you, help with songwriting, help build technique. So it's something definitely worth checking out. So I'm in standard tuning. And we're going to start with these A7, A diminished Delta Blues chord shapes. And let's do that again. And one more time. this motif throughout the song. It's a long A and an A7. And this is a D7 over an F-sharp bass. For our E, we're going to play an open E, a couple of slices of the 5th fret on the B string. And the 2nd verse. And the second verse starts the same as the first. But we're going to add a little shuffle at the end.
and we're going to use this voicing of a D7 this time. And this is just a rake here. I'm just using my index finger to rake down the strings. slide into that A7 chord. Just not play the top string. To E. Back to our D7 over an F sharp bass. Back to our A motif. And the third verse. D7 Back to A And we're going to use this E7 voicing this time Same as the D7, just raking down the strings. And that's it. Um, it's not too difficult, this one, but lots of room to experiment, different fills, uh, different chord voicings. Um, just have fun with it. I'll run through it slowly now. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last time, and from the top, and one more time, and one last time. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next time.